morning, modern steaders. Good morning, Figaro. Ah, the boys want out of the barn. We got an inch and three quarters of rain yesterday, guys. Sheesh. You left your bucket way over there, guys. There you go. We'll get the bucket for next time. Good morning. You're being noisy. Get you some grain after. <sighs> Let's see what this looks like in here. Whoo, boy, does it stink in here. <laughs> Gotta let that air out. I'm glad we uh, insulated everything with the foam. That way it keeps the stink from the workshop in the workshop and the barn in the barn. It doesn't smell at all in the milking room, which is nice. We need your help. Our two new bucks are being super noisy. They're whinnying or crying, whatever you want to call it, quite a bit. Any tricks to make them not so loud or noisy? <clears throat> the lady that we got Willow and some of our other goats from, I asked her about her bucks, if her bucks are noisy, and she said, nope, my bucks are quiet. The girls are actually louder than the bucks. So I don't know if it's a hereditary thing or what the you can hear them. They're fine. Any ideas of how to get them quieter? It's kind of loud, especially when there's neighbors around. I don't want them to have to listen to that all the time, so I need to figure out something we can do. Thank you, Willow. If you have any ideas or recommendations, leave them in the comments down below. We'd appreciate it, and so would the neighbors. Come on. Oh, this way. Come on. What are you doing? <laughs> you ate all your grain? How about some fresh water? Look, we already got a loose chicken. There you go. Good job, Tanner. You just want the chicken grain, don't you? I decided to move New York City and leave the fence around them because the goats are gonna eat their grain if we don't. We have to feed it to them in the coop. I don't want to do that until the snow comes, so. I'll leave the fence up for now. That way, you ladies can't get it. Gotta get up before Hope tries to get out. Right, Hope? Hope's like, I just want to come in the house. I'm just like a dog. I know. You gotta go be a goat though. Go be a goat. Yeah, go be a goat. You wanna grab the tractor? I got Try the to put the top thing. I mean the weight I gotta go thing in my up. pocket. I have big old gloves on now. I down by the goat bar. Before we start working over here, you wanna go see what the inside of the barn looks like? I had to open it up. I went to go check it out, but it stunk in there this morning. Like polyurethane? Yes, real bad. Hey, don't eat food. There's still smell in there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think it's gonna take a couple of days for it to finish curing completely. That does look good. I like the way the beams came out. Oh, I ran it right there. This pen's gonna be a small pen for breeding or if we need to quarantine one animal. 
So that's what this one's for. Watch out, Tanner. <laughs> it's wet from all the rain we got. Oops, it makes it heavy. Shut it. Tanner, you don't need to come in. Tanner, Tanner, go. You don't need to be in here. Oh, look at that soupy mess. So we have a big old wet area over here. Tiana, do you see that wet mess? Did you see it? Well, Did you see it? Or a vein that runs under the ground there. I don't know. Look at this soupy mess. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just filling up with water. water must have like a vein or something that it follows down to drain over here. We did get inch and three quarters of rain last night, yesterday. So if you put a pole in there, will it rot? Oh, they're pressure treated. Oh, wow. they're, it'll rot quicker than if it wasn't full of water or if it didn't get wet, but it's pressure treated. It still will last probably between 10 and 20 years. Look, we have a pond. There you go, building our miniature pond in our backyard. <laughs> <laughs> Tiana, you can go swimming. You wanna go swimming? You wanna go swimming? The goats want to go. The goats don't like water. They like to drink it, that's it. Look at all that sand. Got probably a good six, eight inches of water in there right now. It's about a 30 inch deep hole. Ready for a splash? Uh. <laughs> I'm to hold that for a minute. Basically touching and right there. Let me get some big rocks in there. Then I'll put some concrete. Don't, move. Oh. don't splash me. I'll try not to. You don't seem like you're trying not to. Ah! Did I get you? I'm sure.
that's kind of where we're just as deep but no water that's so funny my guess is this is a vein of water running somewhere around here but it doesn't go over there if you have any ideas of what why that one hole would have water in it and not that one leave it in the comments down below Uh, once that dries up, that'll really be stiff. Nice and wet straw, that'll be good for composting. I gotta get a new chain for my chainsaw so I can cut these posts down, but the chain I have right now is sharpened uneven, so it'll cut at a wicked angle. And it won't make a pretty cut. Because I'm not a good sharpener and I don't sharpen it perfect. So if you don't sharpen every side the same amount every time. I think mine is too far gone, but they do. I almost got to take down or take off the hinges. You want to bring this board to that burn pile? The burn pile back there will save the post but those these two boards can get in the burn pile that screw is broken off just be careful they're heavy and you wet put in the way back one yeah put on the way back like bonfire pile You ready to add to your compost pile? Yeah. It shrunk already. Yeah. It did. Yeah, what? Briar? Yeah, but I like, once I'm on my pants, I still want my finger. Got your finger? Yeah, it's already shrunk.
The goats see it coming. How many eggs you thinking? Fifteen. Fifteen? What are you doing, Hope? Help me! She's like, where'd everybody go? I'll say fourteen. The yellow jackets are out in force today. One. You were right. Right on the money. Right on the money. Birds cooling off. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to start a fire tonight. Yay! That's like a yes. That's a yes. Oh. Do you see? Look. Yeah. Look over by the old goat barn. Oh! <laughs> I just thought that you moved the um the goat mountain out. And we did. And we took down all the fence and put some fence posts up. that time of the year for us already guys gotta get a fire going luckily we got a bunch of scrap pine from all the building we've been doing so we can get some small fires going it's supposed to get down to like 34 tonight I know, I know, it's way too early to have a fire. Uh, not for us though, we normally have fires around this time of the year and our first snow is due any time now. I don't want a big snowstorm, but we'll be getting 
a snow anytime. Gina's birthday is in the middle of October, and usually by her birthday, we've had some sort of, some sort of snowstorm. So we're due for it. Feels good to get one step closer to the homestead of our dreams. We got the old goat fence taken down. The area that we put the fence post up for today, that's going to be either a breeding pen when it's breeding seasons for the goats. So that way we can put our dough that we want to be bred with what buck we want at the time. We don't want to just let them run together. And then we won't, that if we do, just let them all run together. We won't know who got bred to who and when. <clears throat> so with the breeding pen, so when we want to breed one of the does, we can choose which buck we want to breed it with, put them in their own little dating Pen and let them spend the day together or whatever and then if we need to we could always use it as a chicken run we get piglets and when we're training our baby piglets we could use it for that if we get a, any new animals on the farm and we need kind of like a place to quarantine them to we can use them in that little pen so there's so many opportunities that this little pen is going to open up for us once we get it finished and it just makes it look so much cleaner taking down that old fence the old fence post that I had in, I, both the holes I hit boulders, so I was only about, I was only able to go about, I think it was like a foot deep in each hole. There was boulders under each one, and I mean big boulders. Um, and then the frost has pushed them out over the winter, so it, it was looking pretty janky and pretty riggedy. So it was nice to be able to take that down and get it cleaned up. And the holes I dug today, I couldn't believe it. I didn't hit any huge rocks. We hit rocks, but nothing way too big to get out of the hole but it just surprises me still with the water but i better end the video here it's getting long i'm starting to ramble thanks for coming along on this homesteading journey with us guys you are a true blessing to us in our homestead we'll see you right back here in the next video